the last thing I want to show is something which is uh, not new, but is better since the last, since the, the not yet released version. It is a way to select items from a tree. So if we have all of these items, and let's just remind ourselves that we want that we have a list here at zero zero zero. We have a list at the end as well, which is at at path uh, zero one two three four five six seven. Path eight. And of course, in between we have 001, 002, 003, and so on. Furthermore, within these lists, we have uh, items with, which have an index. So the item at index 4 can be identified as 0084. And the item at index 9 can be identified as 0, 0, oh, 0, 0, 0, oh dear. Zero, 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 9. So what if we, if we want to take from this tree uh, a specific set of points? Right? Say that we want to select only the points that have that are part of of the even tree. So the first tree, zero, two, four, and then up, sorry, I mean all the way up here. So we will ignore all the trees which are sort of odd, in, or, sorry, all the branches which are odd in between the even branches. We can create a uh, a a piece of text which represents a selection logic for items in a tree, and we can use that piece of text and a, and a split tree component, split tree component to actually apply that selection pattern to a whole tree. Uh, I am going to once again go back to two two grids here to make it a bit more complicated. Uh, Okay, let's increase the numbers there a bit. Okay. And I will also simplify this tree so it, it, it isn't, it, it, there aren't too many zeros which we don't care about. So let's actually look at the tree we have at this point. It has no redundant zeros, it has a bunch of paths that, rep that represent the first grid and a bunch of paths that, that, path that represent the second grid, starting with one. So we want to select all the items in, in this branch and this branch and this branch and this branch and this branch. And then again, as well, for the second tree, we want to select all of the items in the first, the third, the fifth, and so on and so forth. So we, we can write this again using a text panel to generate a list. We can say, well, please select everything in zero, record zero. And this operation actually picked everything in the first branch because that's the only one that actually matches this particular pattern. I can go on and say, well, I'd also like to have all the items in 0, 2 and oh, and 0, 4 and 0, 6. And then you can see how it sort of slowly grows over here. And I can, in fact, let's, let's just write the full pattern. So we get a good sense of how much time we're wasting by typing it all by hand. Point 0.4, and 1.8. Okay. This, these are 10 patterns which select all the columns 
any cigarettes which are even or odd, depending, depending on how you uh, look at it. But this is a lot of typing. We can, we can represent this logic cleaner by using the, the, the options we have for, for uh, se selection notation or splitting notation. For example, I can go in here and say, well, it's either 0 or 1, and they're all the same. So in fact, I will allow both 0 and 1 up here. So it's always 0, 1, because both numbers are allowed. And I can now delete the second half of my, of my patterns. Ah, it works the same way. Same result, fewer patterns. In fact, I prefer to, to here to, to use those, those brackets to say, well, please only. It, it doesn't matter uh, functionally. It works in the same way, but but uh, visually, it, it more clearly defines which bits belong together and which which, do, which bits don't. Zero or one. Uh, if we add a third grid to this, so if I pick three planes rather than use two, and let's say one over here. It doesn't work because the third grid is at index two, right? It's it has a, a new number here, and we're not we're not allowing two. So I could go in here and say, well, allow for comma two as well. But if this is my logic, I can say, please allow all the possible paths, all the possible numbers at the first index. The question mark means any single number is allowed to be used in the first first location. And now, no, many, how many, no, no matter how many uh, grids I have, it'll always work because this number just goes up and up and up, and it'll always uh, be true because it's always a single number that we don't care about. We can also simplify the second number. Instead of having uh, five different paths, we can say, well, like before, I can write a list that says, well, it's either 0, or 2, or 4, or 6, or 8. And again, we have the same result. It does the same thing. And as before, uh, if we make this grid bigger, if we start adding columns, they will be omitted because they are beyond the number 8. Right? 8 was the highest number we had before. And now we have to go back in and say, well, it's actually 8 and 10 and then n12 and 14 if you make our grid bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is also very, very annoying to do it by hand. We can use a sequence notation, say, well, it's 0, 2, and then sort of it implies an infinite sequence of those two numbers. So by typing 0 and 2, we can make x as big as we want. We can go all the way to 100. And this selection scheme works, works all the way down to the highest numbers you want. And I think it's this one which is slowing me down, yes. Okay. And let me delete the last plane here. It's a bit annoying. Okay. So this pattern means select all the items which are in a branch which has any number at, to start with, and then any number in a sequence 0, 2, 4. Eight, uh, 6, 8, to infinity in a second bit. And it actually allows us to... And what, one of the things it does, this, this component outputs a positive and a negative result. And in positive you find all the, all the items which, which accept, which pass this, this test. And in negative you have all the items which, which fail this test. So in fact you have here, all the items which didn't pass end up in this tree here, and all the ones that did end up in this tree here. There's fewer because uh, we have one more column to, to implement. Right? We have one, two, three, four, five columns that we're taking, that we're accepting, but we only have uh, one, two, three, four, we're omitting. So this tree is in fact a bit shorter than this tree because it has fewer items in it.
I can see questions going past. Uh, give me a moment to learn them. Yeah, so, so there's a question about the, no, the square brackets notation. Uh, the, the, the latest version, which was released uh, a few days ago, or 0 0.90062, it doesn't quite support sequence notation and it doesn't support uh, brackets, uh, square brackets everywhere either. I'm currently using 090063, 